Hey, this is Brett, and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler High Altitude Package. This is stock number 24J192. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep, and specifically Jeep Wrangler headquarters. And this is one of the best looking Jeeps I have seen yet. I have not seen a high altitude uh, 2024 until I've seen this one. This one's in Sarge green clear coat. It also has, of course, the 4xe package. So it has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine com combined with the hybrid technology. It's gonna give you 375 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque. It's gonna to get you 49 miles per gallon equivalent. It's also gonna get you 21 miles on all electric and a combined range of 370 miles. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click uh, the bell notifications and get updates every time I do videos like this one here at Summit Auto. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you everything that the high altitude package has to offer. Also show you the interior, and at the end we'll go over the original window sticker, which will be linked in the description below as well. Let's get right to this outside here. You can see everything on the high altitude package is painted. You get the color match painted bumpers, the color match grill, the black, gloss black surrounds around the fog light bezels as well as on the seven slotted grill. This one does have the front trail cam. Uh, standard on pretty much all the packages now is the LED light group, LED headlamps, running lights, the LED lights in the, in the fenders, as well as the LED fog lamps. Now I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video as well so you can see just how bright they are because they are pretty bright, look really good. The high altitude package also gives you the color match fenders. Now this one has the color matched hard top, but it's not really the hard top, it's the sky one touch top, but you get the color match sides here. And I'll show you how that um, sky one touch works as well. The other thing I really like about this Jeep are the 20 inch wheels that come on it. Painted and polished aluminum. Of course, you get the blue Jeep on there when you get the hybrid package. This one has General Grabber AT Sport tires. These are 275, 55R20s and a pretty aggressive tread pattern on there, all terrain. It's the normal suspension on the Wranglers. But once again, the color match fenders, the color match side pieces. You also get the color match mirror backs with uh, directional signals in them. Couple little Easter eggs, you get these sandals on this plastic shroud here. There's seven slots on that shroud as well. And then the Jeep is climbing up the windshield there. No more antennas on the side. The antennas are in the windshields, which are all Corning Gorilla Glass now. You can still take these doors off with the T50 bit, the Torx 50 bit. That's why they got T50 on there. We did a demo on how to take your doors off. That's linked in the description below and in the upper right hand part of the screen. High altitude package also comes standard with those running boards. You also get the 3M rock guard on the front of the back fenders to keep your investment looking good. Four wheel disc brakes. This one looks like it has the sport brakes on it or the heavy duty brakes. You can take these side panel pieces out I did a video on how to take those out. Coming around to the back, you'll notice that you get the painted matched uh, rear bumper, backup parking sensors, the LED tail lamps. The other interesting thing with these high altitude packages is that they have this plastic cover that goes, that covers the rear bumper. And the reason they do that is if you get tire shine or just water coming off this tire, it'll actually stain the paint on the uh, rear bumper and you can't get that stuff off. Uh, we used to have high altitudes back when they were JKs that didn't have that plastic piece here and they were always stained with tire residue and uh, just impossible to get that off. Obviously matching spare tire, you get the blue tow hook with the four by E package. You also get this four by E emblem, which is actually metal flake which is pretty cool. Sarge Green is a flat color. Back storage area. Now this bag is for the side pieces. You get the subwoofer back here. Obviously this is gonna be loaded up really nicely. You also have the door hinge 
roof and windshield bolt holders back here. So this, I figured out in my last video I did on a Wrangler, is a power box. So you can use this. These are outlets, if you can see in there. These are outlets that you can plug into the side of your Jeep and it acts like basically a generator. So you can power stuff off, plugs right into where you charge it. This is your charger. So I figured out what that was for in the last video. So now I can let everybody know. It's the power box and that will be on the original window sticker. Uh, seven slots on the back door here. The JL two door, four door uh, wheelbase overall length. And then the water fording as well as the width between the outside of the tires, the overall width, and then the tire width right there. So that's pretty cool information that they give you. You'll also get the color matched gas cap or gas fuel door, I guess you could say. And uh, let me know what you think of this look on this Jeep. I think it looks great. This is where you charge your vehicle. Plugs right in there, snaps in, and then it'll blink. That button will blink at you. You get the Jeep climbing up the mountain there. As soon as it's green, that's when it's fully charged. If it's flashing, then it's charging. Um, and then if it's red, that means that it's, it needs to be charged or there's something that's not connected right there. Take a quick look at the back seats. I'm going to kind of spoil it here because these back seats have the really interesting design. Part of that high altitude package kind of looks like tire tread patterns on that leather. You get the blue stitching for the 4xe. Now the big thing that's different on the interior for the 4xe's is this piece right here. So normally these seats all fold down in one motion, but this one has the seat that folds up and then this back piece folds down. You also don't get a completely flat um, area to the back there from the back seat because this is where your batteries are. You also get a Jeep climbing up a mountain there. It says 4 by e but this is where your batteries are, so they had to change that design a little bit. Back here are two USBs, two USB-Cs. And then 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. There are your window controls. New for 2024 are the side curtain airbags, which is a great feature. I'm glad that Jeep did that. Then you get child safety locks on the back doors. So up front, you get the power seats with the high altitude. You also get that really cool design on the bolsters of the seats, the back and the lower part. The blue stitching looks really good as well. And both these front seats are power and they both have lumbar, get factory floor mats. So this is your hybrid system right here. This is your, basically your hybrid controls. So if you want it to run on electric and battery or electric and gas uh, and have it kind of choose when to do both, that's the hybrid mode. If you want it just to be completely electric, you just press that, and then e-save makes it pretty much just gas. So then you're going to be running um, just on the gasoline engine. So here are your auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. So you get the leather trimmed dash. They brought that back for the high altitude package. I really like that. You get the blue metal piece there and the blue stitching there as well. Uh, the door is stitched out like that, power locks, power mirrors. I'm not going to go through everything on this radio. It does have the 12.3 with the factory navigation system. You get the uh, seven inch LCD display there, digital speedometer, all that good stuff. We've gone through a million of these radios and everything, but you get the nice leather wrap steering wheel, the blue stitching on there. This is probably one of my favorite steering wheels next to the 392 with the bronze stitching, uh, Bluetooth, and information center controls on the left, audio controls in the back. This one does have adaptive cruise controls and regular cruise controls. You get the Corning Gorilla Glass there. This is the Uconnect 5 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. This one does have the factory navigation system. This is the same radio that comes in every single Wrangler um, for 2024. The only difference is, is if it has nav or not. So this one does have nav, it does have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Then you get all your different apps here 
which are basically just links to different parts of the radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I believe those are wireless now. You get your off-road pages, system, other, um, hybrid electric, and then uh, if we want to check out the vehicle here and check out the backup camera. So you can see that backup camera right there. They made those HD and then you get your front trail cam. If you turn the steering wheel, those lines are dynamic, meaning that they turn with the steering wheel. And uh, so you can see when you're on the trail that you're not going to be hitting any rocks or logs or anything and wrecking your wheels. So that is pretty much the whole radio. We could go more in depth, but it's, it's a lot of stuff. And this video is already really long. Down here, your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel controls. This is the regeneration button. So what this does is when you press that and it is on, it will actually use the vehicle's brakes as a charging system. So the vehicle, when you let off the gas, it actually slows down like you have the brakes applied. Uh, it's very noticeable, um, but that helps to recharge those batteries while you're driving. Stability control, you can turn it off too just by pressing the button. Uh, stability control, parking sensors, uh, speed select, crawl control, two, you get a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack, power windows, 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission, keyless entry with remote start, and of course you get the flipper key on there, like that, and then the key fob fits nicely right in between the cup holders there. There is that leather wrap dash that I think looks fantastic, SOS and assist buttons, and then the Sun Sky One Touch power controls. So this takes about 20 seconds. So we're going to start at 8.44 and it should go to 12.04. All of them have been between 19 and 21 seconds that I've seen. Twelve oh four, perfect. You also get home link buttons right there. And uh, like I said, I'm going to turn on all the lights and then I'm going to turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright those lights are. And then we're going to check out the original window sticker, do a final walk around here. And uh, you can see if you like the lights and everything, that's how that looks when that is open. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. So let's get, let me get the lights off in here and then we'll do a final walk around with the lights off. Check out the window sticker, we'll be all set to go. Okay, so you can see just how bright these lights are. They look really good. And uh, I applaud Jeep for making the LED light standard on pretty much every package besides the Sport S and Sport package. But uh, you can see just how bright, it's a nice bright white light. Um, and it's a really wide vision area that you get. So definitely looks really good. And I love the tail lamps on the Wrangler is kind of an hourglass looking design. You get the LED license plate light. And uh, yeah, just a really good looking Jeep. Like I said, let me know what you think of the look, the design, the interior on this particular Jeep in the comments below. And uh, we'll check out the original window sticker. Let me get some lights on here, just a second. Here is your original window sticker, 2024 Wrangler four-door high altitude 4xe. And uh, you get the two liter turbo, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. So you can see everything that you see there is standard. There's the four-by-e power box. So that comes standard with all of these uh, four-by-e's now, which is a really neat system. I'd like to, I'm probably gonna do a demo on how those work, uh, but anyways, there are your interior features and then the exterior features. Everything on this one is basically um, standard equipment, it looks like. And the only optional equipment is the 595 for the Sarge Green. So this must come standard with the Sky One Touch Power Top. Anyways. Um, like I said, there's a link to this in the description below. Total MSRP is $70,285. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Wrangler in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked into the description below is a link to this vehicle on our website. If it says sold in the title, this vehicle is sold. If it doesn't say sold, there's a good chance it's still available. So click those links. 
Check us out on the website to get your summit pricing with all the rebates and incentives. Five years, 60 powertrain warranty, three year, 36 bumper to bumper. And then you get an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on the high voltage battery and hybrid system um, as well. So definitely a nice warranty on that hybrid system. And I think my next vehicle, my next Wrangler is gonna be a hybrid for sure. Uh, 49 miles per gallon equivalent. And then you can see your range on just electric is 21. And then uh, your average miles per gallon on just gas is 20 miles per gallon. And then your total range for electric and gas is 370. That's how you read that. And then your uh, smog and greenhouse ratings are actually pretty good on this. And it's only rated for rollover, which is three stars. I'm still kind of floored that uh, the uh, Sky One Touch is standard equipment on the high altitude, but I can't find it on there. Anyways, if you know, let me know in the description below. Anyways, thank you so much for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you enjoyed it. Got a good look at the high altitude package. I know this is my very first one that I've seen for 2024 with the new grill and some of the updates that they've done on the interior but uh, I think it looks really good. Love the wheels and to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and specifically Wranglers, go to the, that website right there, www.summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you wanna check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle <clears throat> vehicle and specifically Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Over 9,000 videos and over 500 Wrangler videos on my YouTube channel. So uh, click the bell notifications and you'll get updated every time I do a video on one of these gems like this one so you don't miss out. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to help you with this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door high altitude 4xe and Sarge green clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.